and a packed house. Apple comes over the steel. Over to Pitts. It's no good. Rebound. There's a foul on the play. Okay, for Wood River, Darren Wagner, number 25, got it the first foul of the game. First team foul with 7.40 to go in the first period. Shot is up and no good. Corny County retains the ball. David Saul inbound the play for Carney Catholic. Over to Searcy. Back to Shooty. Long shot from outside by Dave Saul, and it's three pointer. A three pointer. Whatever's behind, three to two. 7.17 to go, first period. As Woodover sets up the offense. Pitts with the basketball, dribbles around the court. He shoots from three-point range. It's no good, rebound by Apple. Right back up, it's no good. Rebound by Van Winkle, it's up, no good. Foul by number 30. Dave Saul for Carney Catholic with six minutes, 51 seconds to go, first period. So Tom Van Winkle for the Eagles of Wood River. Not the shot, no good. Six minutes and 43 seconds to go. Carney Catholic's ahead, three to two. Tom Van Winkle for Wood River. The eyes are in. It's up, it's good, tied up. 6.43 to go, it's tied up three all. Carney Catholic brings it up court. Number 30 tries to shoot, he can't shoot. Ball on the ground. Lowe comes up with it to, to Wagner. Lowe comes up with it. He gives, Wagner gives it away. Right into the hands of number Dave Saul, number 30 for Carney Catholic. So with six minutes and 17 seconds to go in the first period. Carney Catholic basketball. 42 shoots. It's no good. Rebound by Derek Apple as Craig Saul, number 42. Wagner tries, he can't make it. Fight for the basketball. Lowe comes up with it. A jump called Wood River Favor. Jump ball, Wood River. So with five minutes, 55 seconds to go. First period, three to three. Each team's got one foul apiece. Shane Pitts for Wood River will inbound a play. To Van Winkle, back to Apple. Apple on top of the key, down to the baseline. The Pitts three-point range, it's up. It's no good. Out on number 32 of Carney Catholic, Todd Batenhorst. Woodover retains the ball with 5.55 to go. It's Woodover basketball. Shane Pitts, number 21, will bring it out for Woodover. Back to Wagner. Wagner dribbles up down the Pitts in three point range. He doesn't try it. Over to Lowe. Three point range. He shoots. It's off. Rebound by Wood River as Pitts rebounds. Wagner back to Pitts. Underneath the up, underneath, he shoots, it bounces out, no good. Fight for the rebound, Woodover collides with it. Woodover basketball, long pass over to Pitts, back to Apple. Over to Low. underneath the Van Winkle, he shoots, up, it's good. And Van Winkle scores, and it scores five to three, Woodover, with 5.32 to go. Tim Schutte for Carnic Alley brings it up. Todd Batenhorst. Underneath the 42, Saul, he gets hammered. Tom Van Winkle hammers him. So that'll put Carney Catholic at the foul line. That's the first foul on Tom Van Winkle for Wood River Eagles. So that'll put Craig Saul at the foul line for the Carney Catholic Stars. With five minutes, 22 seconds to go. It bounces in. It bounces in. The second shot. Good. So it's tied up five all with 5.22 to go. 
Wood River basketball. Pitts brings it up over to Van Winkle. Back to Lowe. Lowe dribbles around top. He's trying to hand off to Widener. Widener's got the basketball. Underneath the Widener, he shoots and misses. No good. Carnic Attic rebounds, number 20. Jeff Searcy for Carnic Catholic with 5-10 to go in the first period. 5 all. Shoots. Searcy shoots. Or not Searcy. Tim Schutte for Carnic Catholic. Scores. And they're ahead. 7-5. 4.56 to go. First period. Lowell gets in a battle with Searcy. Lowell comes out with it. Lowell dribbles around. Hand tries to hand off. Hands off to Pitts. Out on top of the key. Back to Van Winkle. Over to Apple. Apple shoots from underneath. It's good. It tied up 7 all with 4 minutes, 31 seconds to go in the first period of action. Tim Schutte brings the ball up for Carnic Alley. Good, almost had a clean with Apple. Back to 30. Saul, 42. Shoots, it's good. Craig Saul. It's going to be between Saul and Apple tonight. 9-7 to seven lead, Carney Catholic. Pitts for the basketball over to Van Winkle. Van Winkle has a little problem. He comes up with it. Over to Apple. Apple shoots from outside. It's good. With four old minutes, with four minutes to go, it's nine all. Whatever's got two team fouls and Carney Catholic won as Carney Catholic brings it up court. This has really been a fast-paced game. Underneath, 32 forces. I'm not too sure if that was on Apple or not. Yep, Derek Apple shoved. That's only the... That'll be his first foul. 32 shoots, it's good. So Todd Batenhorst for Carney Catholic scores, makes an 11 to nine lead. 3.36 to go. Wagner over to low, down court pass to Van Winkle. Over to Wagner, back to Pitts. Stolen away by Carney Catholic as Dave Saul comes up with a steal. Van Winkle gets it right back to Apple. Apple sets up. 3.12 to go, Apple puts it in. It's good. And the Eagles of Wood River have tied it with three minutes, six seconds to go. 11 all. Carney Kelly brings it up court, Saul back to, down to the corner of the 30, he shoots. No good, fight for the rebound between Searcy and Apple, and Searcy won the rebound. Apple come up with it. Derek Apple, Pitts, watch out, or low, I mean. Low back to Pitts. Pitts with the basketball, over to Low. Back to Wagner. Back to Pitts. Okay, with 2.34 to go in the first period, it's tied up for 11 all. They're trying to set up a low. Over to Apple, underneath. Got stolen away. 22 for Carney Catholic. Tim Schutte hit the ball out of his hands. Searcy for the basketball. Todd Batenhorst shoots from outside, no good. He gets his own rebound. He puts it up. No good, 20 shoots, it's good. Jeff Searcy for Carney Catholic puts it in. So with two minutes, nine seconds to go, Carney Catholic 13-11. Lowell brings up for the Eagles of Wood River. Over in the corner to Pitts, back to Van Winkle underneath the basket. Van Winkle can't make it. Rebound by Craig Saw, number 42, with a minute, 40, a minute 51 to go. Okay, Carney Catholic basketball. Tim shooting with the ball. Inside the 32, he shoots, it's good. And Todd Batenhorst for Carney Catholic comes up with a big one there. 15-11 lead, Woodward trailing by four with a minute 32 to go in the first period. Wagner brings it up court. Over to Pitt, Pitt's in three-point range. He just about, but not quite. Carney Catholic comes up with a rebound. All the way in it, no good. Shane Pitts comes up. Jeff Searcy tried for a layup, he couldn't make it. Pitts with the basketball. Over to Wagner, Wagner. Eyes are Emmy Dalton, shoves off, corner to low. He puts it in, three points, three pointer. And we're with a minute to go in the first period. It's Carney Catholic 15 to 14 over Wood River. 
Number 30 for Carnac Attic shoots. It's good. Dave Saul for Carnac Attic puts it in. Law brings it out to fit. 45 seconds to go in the first period. Back to Wagner. The top of the key over in the corner to Pitts. Or the low, I mean. The half underneath. He gives it to Van Winkle. Van Winkle gets hammered by 32. Push off. Charging foul on Tom Van Winkle, evidently. That's what it looks like. Craig Saul will bring it out for the Carnac Catholic Stars ahead 17 to 14. Long pass down to 32. Todd Baitnors. Todd Baitnors. Back to Shooty. Okay, the bait and horse has got the ball. Hands off to Craig Saul. Saul shoots no good. Apple gets a rebound. Apple long pass down to, oh, there ain't nobody down there, but the time's running out. So, at the Carney Kellick High School, after one period of action, it's been a tough one so far. The Carney Kellick Stars 17 and the Wood River Eagles 14. Well, Van Winkle's got three, and I didn't catch it. Oh, he went too fast, so I didn't quite catch my score in there. So, whatever's trailing, 17 to 14. As we get ready for the second period at Carney Catholic High School. They've been in a real dog fight tonight. Okay, number 55 for Wood River. Frost comes in. Steve Frost for Woodover comes in. Okay, Woodover. Carnac Alley basketball. Cersei. Back to Shooty. Over to Saul. Underneath. Apple comes up with a big rebound. Packer comes in with a basketball. Over to Widener. He's. Fakes it back to low, or back to Packer, I mean. Packer on top, back to Wagner. 7.35 to go, second period, Apple over to Pitts, and back to Wagner. Pitts on three-point range, it's good. So Shane Pitts for the Eagles of Wood River with 7.22 to go. Tied her up, 17-0 as Carney Catholic's Tim Schutte brings it up. Hands off, oh, out of fight for the basketball. Apple comes up with it, puts it in, it's good. And Derek Apple for Wood River comes up with it, another steal. Frost gets a steal. With seven minutes to go in the second period, it's 19 to 17. Over to Pitts. Pitts back over to Widener, Widener with the basketball, 6.48 to go. Steve Frost underneath the Pitts, Pitts almost falls down, he gets back up over to Widener over to Packer, Brian Packer. Pitts, Shane Pitts with a basketball. Stolen away, number 20 for Carnic Catholic, Jeff Searcy with a basketball. Hands off to 22, he drives the lane, it's up, no good. Packer comes up with a big rebound. A shooty, number 22, shot, no good. 6.21 to go, 19 to 17. Three point range for Pitts, it's good. And Shane Pitts makes the score 22 to 17. With 6.12 to go. And so. Timeout has been called with 6.10 to go in the second period. It's Eagles of Wood River 22 to 17. And I'm telling you people, I don't know if you can tell it here, but it's loud. Basketball, number 42 hands it out to number 14 for the Carnac Catholic Star with 6.07 to go, 22 to 17 as the Stars set their offense. Stolen away by Wagner. He misses a layup. Okay, Carnac Kelly comes back with a basketball. Got knocked away, but they come back up with it. I'm not sure who 14 is right now. 42 saw shoots. No good. 
Widener gets a rebound. He goes down court. Whatever was going to set up the offense with 5.36 to go in this second period. And a Derrick Apple underneath. It's good. Derrick Apple comes up with it. Five twenty-two to go. Okay, Carney Catholic basketball. Jeff Searcy, number twenty. The thirty-two Todd Baden horse shoots. No good. Rebound by Derek Apple for the Eagles of Wood River. Brian Packer brings it up court. Brian Packer. Over to Pitts. Underneath the Steve Frost. It's up. It's good. Steve Frost for the Eagles of Wood River. Steal by Wagner. It's up. It's good. And he's fouling the act. Apple comes up with a rebound. Widener with a basketball. Shoots up, no good. Rebound by the Stars of Carnic Catholic. 4.19 to go. Oh. Okay, 4.11 to go. Halftime coming up, 28-17. Number 20 shoots, no good. Rebound by Carnic Catholic. 52 shoots, good. So Carnic Catholic, 28-19. As Woodover comes up with the basketball, Wagner. Apple, Packer, Frost. Stolen away by Carney Catholic. 3.42 to go, second period, 28 to 19. 32 for Carney Catholic. Todd Batenhorst, 52 shoots, that's good. Two points for Carney Catholic, 28-21. 325 to go, 28-21. Wagner over to Pitts. Back to Wagner. Over to Packer. Frost. Wagner underneath. 25 shoots up. It's good. So Darren Wagner for Wood River comes up with a point. 30 to 21. 305 to go. Okay, number 52. 42 shoots. No good. Rebound. 452 shoots. It's good. It's good. So Wagner comes up with a basketball. Two minutes, 47 seconds to go. It's 30 to 23. Frost. Packer. Packer from three point range. It's no good. Traveling on Carney Catholic. Woodward basketball with 235 to go. It's 30 to 23. So whatever takes it out. Okay, as we get ready for the second half of action here at the Carney Catholic High School, whatever's got a 35-25 lead. Get the ball out, Pitts, Wagner. Okay, here we go, third period. Okay, Pitts with the basketball. Back to Wagner. He eyes a three-point, he don't want to shoot. Up on the corner. Back out to Pitts. Three-point range. No good. Number 20 for Carney Catholic. Jeff Searcy on the foul. Okay, whatever will inbound the play. 7.40 to go, 35-25. Out to Wagner, out on top. 
Back over to Lowe. Shoot from three-point range. It's good. And Sean Lowe comes up with a big three-pointer. With 7.30 to go at 38-25. As Carney Catholic with the basketball. Throw the ball away. Pitt comes up with the ball. Back to Wagner. Back to Pitts. Back to Low. Low shoots. No good. Rebound by Carney Kellick, number 22. Tim Schutte. Ball was knocked out of bounds by Carney Kellick. Craig saw, I think, number 42. Compton shot up and good. So Gable Compton puts it in for Carney Catholic. 6.55 to go, 38-27. It's Carney Catholic trailing whatever the third-ranked team in the state. Threw the ball away, right in the hands of number 20, Jeff Searcy. He puts it up and in. So Carney Catholic's coming right back, 38-29. They stole it away. Compton puts it up, that's good for Carney Catholic. So Gabe Compton comes up with a big one. 6.24 to go at 38-31. A seven-point advantage for the Eagles of Wood River. Apple with a basketball. He shoots. It's good. Two points for Derek Apple. 6.13 to go. It's 40-31. Okay, Carney Kelly brings it up. Tim Schutte with a basketball. Hands off to Baton Horse. Over to Compton. Stolen away by... Wood River, Lowell dribbles it up court to uh, Pitts. Pitts over to Lowell in a corner. Cross field pass, Van Winkle underneath, up, no good. Rebound by Saw, Corny Catholic. 541 to go, 30 to, 40 to 31 as Corny Catholic basketball. Compton. For Carter Catholic, he scored six quick points right here. They're going to have to do something about it. We're not ahead that far. Pitts with the basketball with Wagner. 5.20 to go. It's 40 and 33. Pitt from three-point range. It's off. No good. 32. Dave Saul for Carter Catholic comes up with a rebound. 5.9 to go. 40-33. Back out on top, 22. Back over to 32. Underneath the 42, he shoots. No good. Rebound by Low. Sean Low got stolen away. Jeff Searcy steals the ball away. So Woodward's getting a little bit rattled. It's 40 to 33 with 449 to go in the third period. comes up with a steal over to Pitts. He's on the three-point range, but he's not going to take it. The Packer, he's in three-point range. He won't take it. Back to Pitts. Over to Wagner. Wagner with the basketball. Back to, he's setting up for Packer. Packer doesn't take it. Wagner, he wants to drive. He's going to drive. He did. He made it. Darren Wagner for the Eagles of Wood River. On the drive, the crowd didn't like it. Well, they wanted a foul call, and they didn't get it with 4.12 to go. It's 42-33. Woodward's got a nine-point advantage right now. If they can just hang on to this lead and keep some momentum going. 22 shoots, and it's no good. Rebound. Cersei, or 20. Cersei, yep. Cersei puts it in. 42 to 35 with 3.48 to go, third period. Wagner, a three-point, no good. Below, or Packer comes right back. He got stolen away by 32, Todd Batenhorst. So Carney Catholic with a basketball. Tim Schutte brings it up for Carney Catholic. He's gonna try to drive lane. Whatever was too close. I believe.
save Derek Apple. It's his second foul. That's our first team foul of the second half. So at three minutes, 24 seconds to go, third period. Whatever's got a 42 to 35 lead at this time. Apple with 14 points. Weiner with eight. Packer with three. Venical with three. Cross with two. Okay, with play resumes. Ball lost it. Okay, 324 to go. Third period. Carney Kelly started basketball. Okay, 22 shoots, and that's good. Tim Schutte for Carney Catholic, 42 to 37 with three minutes to go in the third period. Wagner back to Apple underneath all by himself and he makes it. So Derek Apple for Wood River comes up with a two pointer. And with 255 to go, it's 44 to 37. Long pass over to 50, Carney Catholic down to 42. No good, fight for the rebound. Apple comes up with it. Packer over to Pitts. 2.38 to go. Wagner with a basketball. Over to Apple. Back to Wagner. Two point shot. No good. Rebound by Apple. Apple forces it up. Good. So Derek Apple comes up with two. 46 37, 321 to go in the third period. Carnic Catholic basketball. 18 points for Derek so far. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Whose basketball is it? Well, Pitts is gonna hand it out. With two minutes, eight seconds to go. Third period, 46-37. Back over the basketball. Over to Wagner. Whatever's trying to set her up. Over to Pitts. In the corner to Pitts out on top to Packer. Throws off to Pitts. Trying to find a middle. He can't find a middle open out to Wagner. He's gonna try to drive a little bit and force it in there and it doesn't go in. Number 52 for Carney Kelly. Compton comes up with it. Out to Searcy. Searcy back to Shooty. Cersei shoots, no good. Fight for the rebound. Frost and Widener come up with a rebound. Between the two of them, they got the basketball. Whatever basketball with a minute 13 to go. And it's stolen away, and they're gonna give it on Pitts. They're gonna call it on Shane Pitts. A minute 10 to go, third period, 46 37. Carney Catholic Star basketball. Shooty brings it up. Forty Compton. He hands off. 42, and it's good. The apple on the foul for Craig Soul for Carney Catholic. Gets the bucket. And he's at the foul line shooting one. So Derek Apple, no, number 11, I guess they called it on Packer, Brian Packer for the foul. That's his first. Whatever's third team foul with 59 seconds to go in the third period. Craig Saw shoots, no good. Apple gets the rebound. Back out to Pitts. 57 seconds. Packer. Out to Wagner. Back to Packer. <laughs> Whatever inbound. It's 37 seconds to go. 
Over to Packer. Back to Pitts. Wagner. Packer. Waiting for Pitts to get in the corner. Pitts is in the corner, but he can't shoot. They're holding him down pretty good. Back out on top to Wagner. Over to Packer. 15 seconds to go. Back, they're just playing around. Widener, a three-pointer, it's good! Four seconds. Well, good try by Compton for Connie Kelly. So, after three periods, the Eagles of Wood River, 49-39 over Connie Kelly. Widener's got 11 points so far. Apple with 18 big ones, and Widener with 11. Packer with three, Venegal three, Frost with two. That's the scoring so far after three periods of action here at Woodover High School. So, period number four is coming right up as we get ready for action. Okay, there's the ball. There's the play. Ready to go. Carney Catholic basketball. Serves Shooty with a basketball for Carney Catholic. Fourth period. Compton. 42. Shoots. No good. Rebound. Well, Apple comes up with it. Wagner. And he makes it. Darren Wagner puts it in. So it's 740 to go in the fourth period. 51-39. Apple come up with it again. And Derek Apple. And it's good. 7.25 to go. 53-39. Carney Catholic is stunned. Compton down to the corner to 30. 32. Todd Batenhorst. Oh, we got a pushing foul. Okay, they call a push and foul on Tom Van Winkle of Wood River. With 7-11 to go in the fourth period, 53-39. That's his second foul, Wood River's fourth team foul. The shot's good, and Compton from Carney Catholic puts it in. 53-41, 7-0-3 to go, fourth period. Pitts with the basketball, over to Wagner. Wagner stops. Apple outside. He can't do it either. Back to Frost. Frost shoots. No good. Is that about? Carney Catholic basketball. Wood River was off, I guess. So, uh, 6.44 to go. 53 to 41. Beaten horse handed it in to Shooty. Tim Shooty. Down a bait and horse, back shooty over to Compton. He shoots, or Saw shoots, it's good. So Craig Saw for Carney Cutting puts it in with 6.25 to go, 53-43, a 10-point Woodover lead. Widener trying to stop the offense. Almost got it stolen away under heavy pressure. Frost underneath, and it's good. I can't raise my voice any higher, because I'm going to lose it. Well, whatever isn't going to lose it, I'll guarantee you that. These third-rated Eagles have really come alive tonight. The shot from outside, no good, but 32. I believe uh, Cersei put it in, number 20. So with five minutes, 41 seconds to go in the fourth period, it's 55-45, a 10-point Woodrow lead. Woodard's got 14 fouls. Carney Kelly's got one. It's 20 points for Apple.
Weiner, I think, is 18 points so far. Forty-one to go in the fourth period. Woodrow basketball. Van Winkle will bring it out for Wood River. Gives it off to Wagner. Back cross to Van Winkle. Over to Wagner. The eyes up front to see what's going on up here offensively. Hands it off and it got stolen. Out of bounds. I don't believe it. I didn't think I thought that guy had it all the way. I did not think Apple had the ball. But we're ahead. Don't let it bother you. Okay, Cersei with the basketball. No word of baiting horse. Shoot. No good. Up. Well, who's it out on? Pitts comes up with the basketball with 5.08 to go. Wagner comes up with the ball now. Okay. Tim Schutte got hammered for the foul on Widener, so that'll put that's only the that should be the 15 foul. We'll see what happens there. It's only the fourth team foul. Widener with the basketball. He got hammered on the play. He got hammered. That'll get the crowd, if anything. That'll get the crowd, if anything. No good. Rebound. Pitts. 444 to go. 45 for Carney Catholic. Look out. Look out. You're going to get caught. Okay. Pitts with a basketball. Cersei's guarding him tight. Back to Apple. Derek Apple. He's got high post. Almost got stolen away, it did. Greg Saul stole it away. He got hammered. Apple. And Derek Apple gets caught for the foul. So with 4.20 to go, 55-45, a 10-point advantage for Wood River. That puts Craig Saul at the foul line for Carney Catholic. Derek Apple's got his third foul. It's good. For Craig Saul for Carney Catholic. Makes it 46 for the Stars and Wood River 55. The second shot, no good. Tom Vanwickel comes up with a rebound. Hands off to low. 417 to go in the fourth period. 55 46. Whatever's ahead. Low with the basketball. Out on top the pits. He's looking for an opening. He can't get it. Back to Apple. Apple shoots. No good. Van Wink underneath. Who's it out on? Carney Catholic basketball. Carney Catholic basketball. 3.59 to go in the game. 55-46. Carney Catholic basketball. Three forty-three to go in the game. Carney Kellogg's trying to hand it out. They do. Ball gets hammered away. <laughs> Outside shot by fifty-two. Gabe Pump. Compton scored, makes it good. With 3.24 to go, 55-49. It's tightening the game up. Pitts with the basketball over to Wagner. Wagner got covered. Oh, 
52, Gabe Compton for Carney Catholic. Hammer Derek out, or Darren Wagner on the layup. Wagner at the foul line. Shooting the free throw with 312 to go in the game. The first shot's up and it's no good. So whatever's got a six point advantage. The game's a long ways from being over. Here's a shot, the second one's good. So Derek Apple comes up with a shot with 312 to go, 56. Oop, almost got caught for a foul. They didn't call it. Number 14's new in the game. Matt Skirda, Skirda, Skirdla. Compton shoots underneath, he makes it. Gabe Compton makes a 51 to 56, a five point advantage with two minutes, 54 seconds going the game. Gonna be another one of them games, like the Adams Central Wood River ball game in two overtimes. Let's hope this don't get that bad. We've got the lead, we just gotta play a little cool here and run some time down. Okay, Caught, er, uh, Jeff Searcy for Carney Caddick fouled Van Winkle, so that'll put Van Winkle at the foul line for Wood River. When the play resumes. Wasn't in the act, they've only got 14 fouls. I missed that one, I sure did. Okay, Tom Van Winkle with the basketball. Up underneath, is he gonna make it? He got hammered and he put her up and no. The second, third, try again. Come on, let's go. He could not do it. And the stars of Carney Catholic have a new hope. I'll tell you what, a three-pointer right here would really change this complex of this basketball game with two minutes. Derek Apple got caught on the foul. With a minute and 59 seconds to go in the game. It's a five point advantage for Wood River. And I believe that'll put them at the foul line because that's our 15 foul. Timeout has been called here at Carney Calic High School. Why no 12 points so far tonight? Okay. Okay, here we go. Carney Catholic. Matt Skirtia. Shot's good. We got a four point difference in this basketball game tonight at Woodrow or Carney Catholic High School. You're getting ready for the second shot. It's good. And we have a three-point game with a minute and 59 seconds to go in the basketball game. Wood River has got their hands full now. Wagner. He's getting hammered. I'm not sure. Number 14, Matt Skirtia hammered Darren Wagner for Wood River. So I'll put Wagner at the foul line for Wood River. And this is where you need it the worst. This is just like the Adam Central game. Let's see if he can do it. The shot's up and it's no good. Looks like it's Wood River ball. It is, it's Wood River basketball with a minute 47 to go, it's 56-53. And Fitz will bring it out. Apple with the bath, or Van Winkle to Apple. Apple with the basketball. Cross court pass over to Pitts. Pitts with the basketball over to Brian Packer. Back to Wagner. A minute 33 to go. Tom Vandermeck with the basketball. Pitts three point range. He's not going to quite make it. Hand it back out to Packer out on top. Packer going to drive a little bit and up back out to Apple. Underneath the Darren. He isn't going to try it, but Packer, a three pointer, no good, but. Tom Van Winkle, oh, Pitts comes up with it. A close call there, that was stolen away. 
Craig Saul for Carney Catholic comes up with the basketball with exactly a minute, two to go, one minute. A three-point difference in this basketball game. It, a long shot from outside, no good. Okay, Packer will be at the foul line. 32 for Carney Kelly, committed the foul. Todd Batenhorse. 32. So I had to put Packer at the foul line for Wood River Eagles. And Wood River, 49 seconds to go in the game, 56-53. Well, Adam Central we pulled out. Pleasanton we pulled out. I know we can pull out this game. We just have to be calm. Here we go with 49 seconds to go. Okay, as we get ready for the action, Brian Packer for Wood River at the foul line. The eyes are in, it's good. He makes his first shot of a one and one. So it's a four point advantage right now for Wood River. His second shot's up and it rims out. Tony Catholic rebound. Craig Saw with the basketball. 44 seconds to go. Tony Catholic down by four. It's a tie up. It's a tie up. Goes to Wood River. Wood River gets it on the alternating possession. Timeout, Carnic Catholic. So, with 39 seconds to go in the game, we got a timeout. And the score, right there it is, Wood River 57 to 53. Packer four, Van Winkle three, Cross four. Well, Ralph, I wish I could tell you, you're coming in good, but the crowd is too. You can't believe how noisy, noisy is. I can hear you, but I can hear them and they're drowning you out. So, with 39 seconds on the clock, Wood River, 57. Carney Catholic, 53. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, Packer with the basketball. Pitts. Over to Low Packer. Packer. He got hammered. They couldn't call traveling on that. Fouls were on number 20, Jeff Searcy for Carney Catholic. So 28 ticks on that clock. Puts John or puts Packer, Brian Packer at the foul line for the Eagles of Wood River. This is where number three ranking comes down, right here. This tells you whether we're rated or not. Looks like we could be. 58, 53. 28 seconds on that clock. It's good, 59-53. And Wood River has really showed the number three ranking on this game. From outside, a three-point shot by number 22, Tim Schutte. And it's good. And we're back to a new game. It's a new ball game. Let me tell you, with 18 ticks on that clock, there's only a three-point difference in the game. There it is, 59 to 56. Let's hope we don't have an overtime in this one. I just assume Wood River can calm down, play ball. I think it's Wood River basketball, so all they have to do is kind of give it to our best basketball dribbler and hope he gets, probably Pitts would be the one to try or Wagner. Of course, any of them are good. You never know. Time will tell. 18 ticks on the clock. 
Here we go. Wood River basketball. You gotta get it out to Packer. Apple. Over to Pitts. Pitts dribbles through it, and he got shoved, and they didn't call it. <laughs> Jeff Searcy for Carney County committed a foul. That's his fourth. Nine ticks on that clock. And it looks like right here, all Pitts has to do is make two, and it's history. He just has to make one, and I would be convinced that we're going to win. If you make two of them, it pretty well. There it is. It's in. 60 to 56. Nine ticks on that clock. It's never over until that buzzer goes off. The second shot's up, and it's no good. Rebound by Carney Callick. Craig Saul comes up with it. 42 confidence shifts, and no good. Rebound by Apple. 